Salute to all the real ones out there. It's your boy Mike coming at you again with another video. All right. So first, I want to thank everybody that's been supporting the channel, watching my videos, uh, leaving comments and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm right now in the uh, in the baby stages. You know, I don't even think I got like over 20 subscribers, but. I'm gonna continue making videos because honestly, this stuff is like therapy for me. Being able to take some stuff that I wrote from, let's say 2019 and even back to 2017, and being able to put it into a video format whereby somebody might be able to look at it, it's just uh, thrilling for me because all those uh, things that I wrote would otherwise just sit inside of a folder, collect dust, and probably would be of no use to anybody except for me when I revisited them and go oh look what i wrote five years back <laughs> all right so um for any anybody who's new who's stopping by my channel if you like the direction that i'm headed you know like comment subscribe uh share the videos with anybody that you think may benefit from them all right so today's topic is going to be about uh just being the best version of yourself all right now the thing is, you know, th th this sounds like a cookie cutter topic, you know, but that's the reason why I'm going to be transparent with y'all, all right? This is probably going to be the realest stuff you ever heard me say. I'm not perfect either, you know? I got flaws, you know, whether they be physical, you know, we can start head to toe, you know what I mean? Got a big ass scar in the middle of my forehead. That shit ain't going nowhere. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well, I accepted it, you know? T crooked at the bottom. My nose got broken back in the day when I was uh, younger and I never got it fixed. You know, uh, yeah, uh, what else can I say? Yeah, one leg is bigger than the other. My feet are flat. My toes are fucked up. Uh, I actually need to go more often to get myself a pedicure. I think I went like maybe two months ago and it's looking, or no. I went last month and my toes are looking a lot better. But yeah, my toes was looking like I was kicking bricks. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? It, like, like I'm not perfect is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. But the, the only thing is, I try to make sure that my good outweighs my bad. And for whatever flaws that I have physically, I just try to compensate by doing other things that will make me look good regardless. Like working out. Or, you know, yeah, I have a scar on my forehead, but who, who cares? Does that mean I got to have a pimply face? No, I don't. You know what I mean? Does that mean I got to have a nappy haircut? Even when I started my YouTube channel, I'm a real perfectionist. We about to get on my personality here in a second, but I'm a real perfectionist, you know? And if it was up to me, I would have never even made my YouTube videos because I don't like being behind the camera. But I'm trying to overcome these stupid ass fears. You know, I told you in my one video that fear is uh, false evidence appearing real. Maybe you wouldn't even notice if I didn't say anything. You know, if I would have just made my videos and been confident, you would have just been maybe listening to the content. But I'm shedding light on my own flaws because I know I'm not fucking perfect. You know, and I just want y'all to know that. Like, I'm a human sitting behind this camera. I got relationship problems. Me and my wife argue. We got a weird vibe going on ever since I, you know, did the last mistake or the mistake before that or whoever gives a fuck. You know, like, we all go through issues. And I want to let you know this is not about me getting so many followers and becoming the next big thing on YouTube. I don't give a damn about none of that. My whole thing is just about giving y'all real content from a real person that you can understand and identify with, you know? Because there got to be some people out there that feel like me that are tired of all these extras, you know, tired of all this fluff and marketing schemes and everything trying to, you know, scam you out of a dollar. I'm doing this as just a real dude who grew up without a dad, who... You know, as people who tell me that I'm influential, they look up to me and stuff, and I'm like, yo, if you look up to me, I wonder if there's a, a kid, I don't know, somewhere in Australia that comes across my video and really turns his life around just based off of what I'm telling him. So, you know, I got my personality flaws too. You know, I'm stubborn, I'm, I'm, I'm hard-headed and shit. You know, I'm a perfectionist, I overanalyze. Um, I'll say one thing and feel really wholehearted about it. And then when I really do some reflection, I'll be like, mm, maybe I was fucked up there. But I'll be so against what I was saying before that you'll be like, nigga, you just contradicted yourself. And then I might even be stubborn about seeing the fact that I contradicted myself. Then I'll get mad. And then later on, I'll apologize for it. So it's like, dog, why are you <laughs> just stupid shit? I don't reach out when I need help. 
I want to be somebody who does everything on my damn own. But when I do that, then that shuts people out who would actually just get me right where I need to be. Stupid, you know what I mean? Or what else? Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm selfish. And then other times I'm not selfish. And I put myself in a situation where I look weak because I'm trying to overcompensate for the fact that I know I'm usually kind of kind of selfish. I kind of do what I want, and if you don't agree, then I kind of write you off as like a fool or, you know, I'm just kind of an asshole, being honest. Not totally, but if I'm just keeping it real, I know I, I can be an asshole sometimes. And unforget, like unwavering. If you know anything about uh, astrology, my birthday May 17th, so I'm a straight up Taurus, man. But at the end of the day, I have Gemini's ability to speak fast, think fast, and communicate in a way that can convince anybody to side with me. So it's like manipulative. Then I have Aries moon. So I am an anomaly. Taurus and Aries are very much opposed to each other. It's like totally different ways of thinking. Like Aries is fiery, dynamic, wants to blaze a trail starts everything with mad enthusiasm and is like a pioneer in the zodiac and then you got taurus is supposed to be calm in, uh, introspective introvert reserved calculated so here i am got fire and all this crazy ass shit going on, on my inside like a volcano erupting and wanting some action and impatient and come on let's do the next thing and come on let's take a risk let's go skydiving let's man this shit is boring let's shake it up then my outside is just like this So the average person was like, what the fuck is this dude thinking? You, you see what I mean? Then you mix in the Gemini fact, and then I could be either or at any given moment. So I already know I'm a hard dude to deal with. But at the end of the day, it's important for everybody to try to be the best version of themselves. You know, you'll never be perfect. But if you're working on yourself and you know that you have flaws and, you know, you do your best to try to, let's say, live life without being too negative or you know, bringing out the worst of your personality at all, all the time, then you're already winning. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, you are your best asset, all right? Now, it's important for these four things to happen. You need to be focused on self-discovery. Know who you are. What are you about? Why? Self-love. Take care of yourself. Appreciate yourself. Respect yourself. Present yourself in a good, good way. Establish some type of values that you want to live by and you don't break that for nobody. Invest in yourself, you know, take care of yourself. Go, go spoil yourself from time to time. Invest in your health, invest in your, you know, your appearance, invest in your uh, knowledge and your education and self-actualization. If you have a big dream in your head, right, you can dream it, you can, you can definitely live it. That's the reason why your brain is the most brilliant thing as a, as a, as a human. You have a mind that can literally create visions with your third eye that you can see that the world can never see. No one can see what's in your brain, bro. So you need to figure out how to make your dream that's in your head happen in this physical reality. You must look inside yourself in order to figure out the world around you since your perception of yourself tends to mold the reality you experience. Thoughts are energy. All right, literally. So whatever you think of yourself, <laughs> think of the universe as basically water. All right. It mirrors whatever you put into it. You know, if, if like it's been proven that if, if uh, like water, if there's a sound that's played. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like uh, sand, if they take sand. And they play, set, uh, play a sound, the sand will form to a certain sound. So, you know, different frequencies will create different uh, configurations of the sand, how it turns out. Think of the universe like that. You say something out there, it's going to come back and give, it, give you the result. So, you wake up every day saying, man, I'm a loser, I'm a bum, you know, no one cares about me, no one loves me, I'll never find a, a good woman. Why the fuck would the good woman that's walking down the street just be like, hmm, I like his energy? It sucks and everything, and it's giving off energy that he doesn't deserve me, but hey, how you doing? Something tells me that you have a terrible energy, and I just want to see if I can turn it all around for you. Like, that shit would never happen, yo. That shit would never happen. So, 
Think of the dude who wakes up every day and says, man, I am rich. I'm happy. I appreciate everything I have. I'm guaranteed to get more. Goes out to his car, cleans it up. You know, one day you're going to be a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. This is my Ferrari, man. He goes up to the Ferrari place. He looks and he feels like, man, that car is mine. Who's going to have the Ferrari? Is it going to be the dude with the shitty attitude that sells himself every day? He's a loser. Or is it going to be the dude who's over here taking positive steps and reinforcing in his mind that he can have whatever he wants? Ding, ding, ding. You know who it is. Many people are simply following protocols, trends, and paths of others. Hence the social media age, right? Victims of propaganda and consumerism. So you got celebrities, music, TV, fashion, movies, social media, etc. You guys see it all the time. Most people are glued on their phones and all they do is consume. They don't think about how they're going to bring out their dream. They don't think about creating a clothing line that, 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 they, that they can rock and bring out and you know take pride in. They don't have any really, let's say, personal pursuits that will bring them closer to manifesting some cool reality for themselves. They're more than likely playing the sideline, chilling back in the cut, judging and watching everybody else's life who is a baller, who is making something of themselves, all right? So it's important to focus on how you can improve physically. Get yourself a massage. Get manicures and pedicures. I, I know, I know, it's not, dog, if you're a dude, you're, you're listening to home, you know, I ain't gonna do it. Okay, you be the fucking idiot that don't never get a manicure and pedicure. I mean, you, you, you're just, you're doing yourself a disservice. For real, for real. Fashion. Invest in your fashion. Invest in your, uh, your appearance. Health. You know, like, for example, get yourself some braces. You know, if your teeth are crooked, get yourself some braces. That's the next thing I'm doing. I'm going to get all these straight again. Because they used to be straight back in the day. Like, flawless victory was my mouth, dog. Just flawless. And then I stopped wearing my retainer and blah, blah, blah. But who cares? You know, I'm going to invest in that because I like the way that felt and the way that looked. So I'm going to do it. Invest in your hygiene. Drink water. Pay attention to your diet. Eat clean. You are what you eat. That is 100% facts. If you walk up and down a Walmart aisle and you see people throwing all type of bullshit in their cart, I guarantee when you look at them, it's not like you're going to be impressed at the body you see. All right? Exercise. Get your teeth clean. All right? I mentioned this in my other video. Spiritually, seek wisdom. Access your higher self, i.e. meditation. Be open-minded. Because you never know what opportunities will come. And if you have an open mind and you're willing to, let's say, try new things, you, you can and you will effectively change your reality just with that mindset alone. All right. Sorry, my bad. I'm trying to fix up this camera. And carry yourself properly. You know, that goes back to creating a, a, a value system for yourself or the vision in your head on how you want to be. And you try to live that out uh, daily with small actions by presenting yourself a certain way mentally read <laughs> listen eddie griffin said it best reading is fundamental right fun to mental think about that enjoy your hobbies stick with fitness i mean exercise get good sleep remove all negativity continue your education from time to time, play some relaxing music, you know? Music is, is good for the soul. Emotionally, clear up your past issues, you know? If you were like me, for example, you know, you, you had issues with maybe what, what you, you saw in Iraq, you might need to go, go talk to somebody, you know? Even if it's another service member or, you know, somebody who has been through a similar experience, uh, they might have some way of managing that that you didn't know about. So communicate about... Uh, past issues and get them cleared up travel travel is enriching for the mind soul and it expands your horizons there's no way that you can travel and remain the same person because you will have experienced something totally different that may open up your eyes to a different way of life or a different way of thinking conquer inner demons we all have them and sometimes they win repeatedly but as long as you putting up a, a good fight you know You'll, you'll, you'll be the best person you can be. Be direct. Don't fear confrontation. And make sure you communicate. All right? So, in conclusion, man, 
I just laid out some things that you could do in order to be the best version of yourself, man. And, you know, like, if I give you an example of me, for example, with the, uh, where I said, like, how you present yourself. Like, I want to present myself all the time in a way where you can respect my intelligence. You can see that I'm a grown man who has his head on somewhat straight and is headed toward goals in his life. I want you to, for example, see me. Like, let's say you're one of the people who know me and are in my contact list. I want you to be able to look down your phone of contacts and identify me as one of the people that you're very glad that, to know, that you're very glad to have in your circle. You know. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, and I'll holler at y'all in the next video, all right? Take it easy.